what is going on YouTube so today I'm gonna to fully rebuild this controller I got from Facebook marketplace for $30 what intrigued me to buy it was this that it already came with a paddle extreme rate paddle kit so we're gonna see if we could get that fixed up a few missing components uh, but I have a video on how to fully uh, install this kit and you could click it right there uh, if you want to take a look at that so we're gonna change the front cover we're gonna change it to this blue one I got uh, we're also going to change the buttons. I got a new set of blue buttons that we're going to work with. I'm not a really big fan of these buttons that comes with it. The black ones, it's white and black. Uh, just doesn't go well. Uh, as you can see here, there's some damage to this controller. There's some damage here. Here, it looks like it's been dropped or thrown. Uh, I, had, I do have an extra kit for the paddles, uh, so we, I could use some of these parts to fix this up if I need to. The L2 and the R2, they look pretty good, so I'm not going to change these, I'm going to leave this. But we will, we will change the outer shell here, we'll change these joysticks, we'll change the buttons, we're going to change this back shell. Uh, just because it looks like used up, uh, I want to refurbish this so it looks brand new. So I'm going to change most of the components, the outer components. Inside, it's going to stay how it is. So before we get started, I'm just going to test this out and see if this controller actually works. So once we have it hooked up here, we'll test that out to see if everything is working. So this button works, this button works, this one, this one works. It looks like there's no drift. Alright, let's test the paddles. So the paddles do work. This one works. The right one has no click, but it works. So it is working, so we'll, we'll see maybe the LED light is off. So first, let's open up this kit here for the paddles. So it looks like there's some either erosion or something's going on here. So this here, I'm not sure why it's looking like this, but I'm not sure what's going on there. Looks like some kind of mold. probably going to get those replaced now as we can see that this one is missing the LED light so that's why it wasn't turning on so next we are going to take this apart
So this, we're gonna re remove the buttons, we're gonna remove this, we're gonna remove this ribbon cable. So let's start. So I have my own touch pad that we're going to replace it with, but the inside is what we need. So in order to remove that, we need to take this out. For the next step, we're going to need a heat gun. And now we could start assembling the buttons and the new shell for the controller. Alright, so we're almost done putting in the buttons into the new shell. Uh, we just put in the mute, now the PS button. And next we're going to put together the touchpad and start assembling the new controller. Don't forget to like for the algorithm and subscribe to help this channel grow and put up more videos like this. Thank you so much guys.
so I had a hard time here putting in the ribbon cable um, just because it was pretty old and uh, those holes did not fully lock in so the ribbon cable kept on falling off and there needs to be a perfect connection for it to work so I ended up just using a new ribbon cable that I had and that solved the problem So I just wanted to point something out that there is no speaker in the controller. I forgot to put it. So if you're following, make sure you don't forget the speaker. And here just make sure all the ribbon cables are connected and there is no loose connections. So here we're just going to put in the battery plate and screw it on. All of the ribbon cables are connected so we're getting close to finishing this up and putting it all together. So these tiny ribbon cables, these are connecting to the speakers. So you just want to make sure that you tediously put them all in how they were so they're not loose. And connect the battery. And this is the new ribbon cable that I installed because the other one was just too old to keep working. It did not stick. So we're just going to take these cables that we installed earlier and we're going to stick them in inside these little holes. And these are the connections to the paddles. And this is the new shell and we're going to start screwing in the housing for the back paddles to the new shell. And it's at this moment I realized I forgot to install the speaker. No God! No God, please no! No! So off camera I ended up taking apart the controller again uh, and installing the speaker. Now sometimes these things can happen because there's so many different components. The most important thing is to catch it. This is the new one and this is the old one. As you can see the old one didn't have a LED button so I'm going to switch it over to a brand new one. And on these little paddles we're just going to install the rods in each one of them. There's little holes so you just insert the rod into them and you place these little paddles in the bracket in the back of the controller. You just push on it and it should snap on. So we're going to take that ribbon cable that's sticking out of the back of the controller and insert it into the circuit board and there should be little clips there that once you put it in you can lock in the clips and it's going to stay steady. So the little board just goes back in the, in the back of the controller and there's two screws that you want to screw in. So the back case, there's a little uh, glass screen that we put on top for the LED light and also the button that goes into two little pins. Once we insert those, we just take that carefully and 
clip it in the back of the controller. Once it clicks, it should be good. And to finish the assembly, we're going to take our two little screws and screw them on the bottom. And two screws goes on the top where the L1 and R1 button are. And we're just going to slide in the panel. It should click right in. So let's see if we could uh, program this controller. Hopefully it turns on, turns on. Let's hope this turns on. Okay, red light. So we're going to do this button, the O, this paddle. It blinks. So we're going to hold this button and X at the same time till it blinks fast. Oops, looks like this controller is out of juice. It's just turned off. So let's go back into parent mode. Okay, it's parent mode. Hold the paddle on the button, blinks. Hold the paddle on the button. Let's try again. Okay, blink. Let's get out of parent mode. Okay, so the controller is paired. Let's just put these buttons here on the top. And we're going to test it to see if all the buttons are functional. So let's see here. Works, 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 works. Touchpad work. Let's just see the buttons. Paddles. So the, both of the paddles are working. It looks like we're good to go. Everything's working properly. So overall, I'm really happy about this controller. It came out good. Everything's working properly. I love the blue color, the blue buttons. And we have a new button kit here let me know what you guys think drop a comment see you next time